Unless you've been living under a rock for the past few years, you've probably heard of Impossible Foods, the company that makes plant-based products that look like meat, taste like meat, but isn't meat. Sinful Tech is one such company, but this Singapore-based startup isn't looking to get into the business of burgers. In an effort to upcycle waste, they're using soy whey, the byproduct generated from the manufacture of tofu to brew a first-of-its-kind alcoholic beverage called sachi. So how exactly do you make alcohol from tofu? I met up with CEO Jonathan Ng and CTO Chua Tianyong at Sinfutech's office to find out more. So can you tell me more about what Sinfutech is about? So Sinfutech actually means Singapore Food Technologies and we are actually a company that focuses on taking waste byproducts from food manufacturing and converting them into um, beverages or food products in the market. Uh, so our latest breakthrough or innovation is actually the ability to convert soy whey, which is a liquid byproduct in the manufacturing of tofu into a gluten-free and high antioxidant drink that we call sachi. We met up one time at a Japanese fusion restaurant and he showed me this thing that he said, oh, it's waste validation and uh, it's called sachi. Have a taste, right? So I tasted it and I thought, wow, amazing. Right. And how about what's, like, does it contain anything special inside that's different like, from other alcoholic beverages? Okay. So, soy whey itself contains this antioxidant called isoflavones, which is present naturally in any soy products. So, um, when we do the fermentation from the soy whey to the end product, this actually get carried over. So, um, our end product actually contains this isoflavones that is um, beneficial to human health. So, I'm guessing that uh, the waste from tofu is something that's really like a bit more cost effective. Uh. So, my question is, why hasn't this been done earlier? Okay, so um, soy whey itself is it spoils very rapidly, so it can spoil within um, three to four hours. We managed to find a way to extend the shelf life of this soy before it turns foul. So we have the time to convert it into the soy alcoholic beverage that we have. What are some of the challenges you guys have faced so far? Like be it in terms of business or on the production side? So I think for us, the, the overall challenge that we have is turning lab technology and bringing it into um, a commercialization aspect in the market. So how do they turn um, something that they've been making in a 300 ml um, flask into you know, a commercialized um, skill? And for the business aspect, um, actually we have a lot of licenses that we have to get before we can commercialize. So that includes getting licenses from SFA, which governs um, food production, and um, you know, getting the okay or approval from SCDF as well as BCA for the legality of our land use. Yeah, and throughout the whole process, we also have the help of um, Enterprise Singapore as well as the Pro Enterprise uh, Division in uh, Ministry of Trade and Industry helping us to expedite the whole process so that uh, we can commercialise uh, quicker. So Sinfutech has been around since 2018 and so looking back, what's one lesson do you think you've learned so far? Well, if it's uh, one thing that we learn, if you don't know what you're doing on this entrepreneurial journey, ask the experts around us. And we are very glad that we have experts uh, from the industry that is willing to help us and offer us advice to help us overcome the hurdles so that we can move on to the next stage of the upskilling process. I think Enterprise Singapore has helped us with their resources and connections all, all over Singapore to um, expedite the whole process and help us to gain the knowledge that we need um, for this whole process. And when we wanted to venture overseas, they also linked us up with um, their international offices in China. Both their teams have helped us to um, link up with local governments and communities as well as businesses. So since then, we have gained valuable uh, insights into the industry as well as valuable connections. But if you don't know what to do, just ask around and you might be pleasantly surprised by the amount of advice and help you can get from the people around you.